The color of this one is pretty good. I like the shades of gray all over this upper, that medium ash goodness right there. The bronzing sort of, it doesn't really clash with it. It gives a gum effect, but not quite gum. <laughs> Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Quick Scopes. Today we have the Air Force One, and this pair is in medium ash, medium ash, bronzing. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to like, leave your thoughts, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ah, uh, yeah, purchase links for these in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot. So, yeah. Let's start from the soles up. So we have a bronzine outsole. We have a medium ash midsole with some nice speckling. There's some speckling on the outsole as well. Medium ash stitch, medium ash Nike Air and strip. And then we come to this upper. So this upper is made of a combination of materials. And if we start from around the toe, you'll see that we have this medium ash tumbled leather around the toe and on the toe box. It's an interesting toe box, this one. Obviously, leather construction, but the way it is molded and folded, it's like that sort of Vaztec um, technology right here. You don't see the stitching um, around that toe box, which is interesting. Going up the shoe, you'll see that we have the same material and color, that medium ash on the ice day. And at the base of the ice day, we have a translucent mini swoosh. Above this, we have some medium ash laces to the thickness that I like. These laces conceal a bronzine nylon tongue. And at the top of this tongue, you'll see that we have a black tongue tab with white for the Nike Air. Taking a look at the mid portion of the shoe, you'll see that we have a ripstop segment right here. This again is in medium ash, matching the same color as the toe box and the eye stay. And then we come to this swoosh. So the swoosh is a little bit lighter than the panel it's sitting on. It is medium ash, but the material is that kind of textured utility kind of material right there. Um, quite interesting. It looks pretty good. As we come to the foxing, before that, we have this speckled tape right here, which is also quite interesting. I think there's some reflective details in there. We'll take a look later. And this separates the mid portion to the fox in itself, which is a smooth grain lever rather than the tumbled one at the front of the shoe. This again is in that medium ash. Going to the heel of the shoe, you'll see that the heel panel is the same material as the swoosh in medium gray. And we also have that same color for the Nike Air. If we take a look inside the shoe, you'll see that we have that medium ash sock liner, nice plush sock liner right there. And then we have medium ash for the insole with white for the Nike Air. Let me know what you think of this pair. For me, I quite like these. These are pretty cool. The color of this one is pretty good. I like the shades of gray all over this upper, that medium ash goodness right there. And I like the way that the bronzing sort of, it doesn't really clash with it. It gives a gum effect, but not quite gum. Nice on the outsole and for the tongue, a very nice touch right there. Other elements I like is the breakup of this shoe. The toe box, which we've already had a look at earlier, is pretty nice. That tumbled leather, the way it just looks, um, the fold of it, as you can see, that hidden kind of stitching and all of that concealed, very nice. And then the ripstop. So different materials, but the same color, which you know is something that I love. Just gives something different to the shoe. And then the separation between the mid portion and the fox in is nice as well. Both colors, again, similar. And of course, another aspect that I like of this pair is the laces, because when you hit the lights, bling, 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 bling. Very, very nice, as you can see, um, dancing in the light right there. So yeah, a pretty good pair. Taking another look at these laces, perfect laces for these, in my opinion. You could swap them out to a bronzine pair. Then it's too much bronzine on the tongue, I think. Um, maybe a black pair, I think that works. A white pair, not too sure about that. I think this is the perfect pair, especially with those reflective details, which we've seen earlier. So if you wanna do a lace swap, you'll have to do so from your lace box, as this is the only pair that comes with these. Let's check out this pair on feet. <laughs>
With all that being said, a solid pair in my opinion, and that's why I give these a 7.5 out of 10. Let me know what you think and how do they compare to the sail pair? Sail or white, are very, very nice. Also has the reflective laces as well. So let me know what you think, which pair you prefer. Purchase links for both in the description and the review to that one right here. I've been Scopes. Thank you everybody for subscribing, sharing your thoughts. It's always appreciated. Signing out. See ya.